Hey, what up y'all? It's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you from the den with another nursing video. Now let's talk about getting into nursing school and how old is too old to get into this profession. But before we do that, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I post nursing related videos one to two times a week here on this channel. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead and do that now. But yeah, let's jump right into this topic because this is something that I was thinking about the other day. I was on my unit and I had seen an old friend. Now I have been a nurse for four years and me and this lady, we both started as new grad nurses and I think she's in her 50s, but we, she said hi to me and we were talking and how crazy it's been that it's gone by so fast. But how old is too old to get into this profession? Now, I went to community college for my associate's degree for my RN, and I noticed that in my RN degree, I had a mixture of younger people and younger, meaning more 24 to 30, and a mixture of older people from anywhere from 40 years old to 50 years old but something I noticed was at universities there tends to be a lot of younger people and younger in this case I'm meaning like 18 to 23 where we didn't even have that younger young of people in my program now I have always been an advocate for going to community college and saving some money like I know you want to have that name on your resume but trust me I honestly really do not think that it matters I am always saying you should go and get your associates for your RN and don't overpay because some of these universities will set you back like 50 to 60k let's get back on topic so before getting into nursing I do feel like if this is really what you want to do then go for it but before getting into nursing I feel like it's important to ask yourself one question one single question regardless of your age is what are your intentions with nursing why do you want to get into nursing especially if you're a little bit older and maybe this is a second or third career for you why do you want to get into this profession is it because you want to get in for it for the money is it because of the schedule is it because this is really your passion i feel like this is something that you need to figure out if you're going to be going through all this schooling because schooling for nursing is very very intense and ask yourself why do you want to get into it now you might be wanting to get into it because of the money you see that these nurses have money they have job stability but trust me new grad nurses do not start off with that making that much and it really is a little jump here and there to get your pay up so if you want to get into money and they maybe this is your third or, or fourth career now we're going to fourth career maybe this is like a second and so on career for you then maybe money isn't the reason to get into it now maybe you want to get into it because of their schedule and now that is kind of a valid reason I feel like depending on your age to get into it because the schedule is very very nice I do like working three 12-hour shifts but I have talked to some of my co-workers on my unit also about how they feel after working 12-hour shifts and actually one of my good friends um, she actually trained me when I started on the unit she says that she no longer works her three 12-hour shifts in a row where initially that's the appeal is to get those 12, those 36 hours done and be off for four days. I feel like slowly and for myself as well, being a nurse for four years, I find myself not wanting to work three 12 hour shifts in a row because at the end of it, I am just so tired. And that's another thing to think about is, are you gonna be able to maintain those 12 hour shifts or maybe that's not even what you want to do and you want to go maybe into a doctor's office or a clinic or go to people's homes then that's completely different but will you be able to maintain because it is more physical labor there is a lot of charting included also but nursing is a lot of physical labor and will you be able to maintain this for x amount of years already on top of the two to four years that it takes for you to get your associates in nursing that's why i said it's really important to figure out what are your intentions with nursing before you get into it because it is more of a demanding job it you are on your legs a lot and there aren't a lot of positions 
that you can sit down maybe if you're not able to be on your legs for so long eventually later in life that you can really go to now final thought maybe this is just something that you've always wanted to do and there were some people in my class when i was going for my associate's degree and this was their third or fourth career we're getting up there but your third or fourth career and this is just really what they've always wanted to do they've always wanted to be a nurse they had an experience at some point and this is where i just say go for it I mean, if this is truly what you want to do, you'll find a way to make it work. But I mean, you should take in those other factors, actually. That is kind of all I have to say on this topic. Regardless of your age, just find out why you want to get into it. And if it's for the right reasons, then go for it. I've been a nurse for four years now on my unit and the people I've worked with are amazing and we got young people, we got older people, we have people in all the age ranges. So if this is what you want to do, go for it. Make sure you check out one of my other nursing related videos right here. If you want me to talk about something in a nursing video, go ahead and leave a comment down below because this is where I get a lot of my ideas as well as from you guys. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.